Hello and welcome back to another video in this series where we focus on the Quantum uh, VWAP Pro indicator. And in particular, we're looking at the, the variants that are included in the, the set of five that come as standard. And in this video, it's a follow on. We're looking at the TWAP indicator, which is, if you like, a, a little bit unusual in the group. And I hope you've watched the first video I did on this where I explained the basic principles of the TWAP, which is basically the time weighted average price. In other words, volume is not a component of the calculation. And you might find that a little curious because it is a, it's generally considered a sub set, a sub product of the VWAP. And indeed, we use it very much, very strongly in combination with the VWAP, as you will have seen in the first video. But what I promised to do in this video was to run the TWAP with across multiple time frames, as we've done with all the other videos. So what we're looking at here on the top line, it's the same stock, it's Meta. On the top line, we have a one minute, a three minute and a five minute time frame. And that is mirrored below as a one, three, five as well. The difference is that in the top line, if I just activate the window there and just click on the settings. On the top, we have the VWAP. So those three are set up as the VWAP and the TWAP, which is on the bottom here. I'll just show you that. Sorry. Let me just click on the settings. There we go. We have the TWAP, which is one of our five, the AVWAP, the anchored, the volume weighted average price, which is the one at the top, the moving volume weighted average price. And we have the interday VWAP, which I'll do some videos on that as well. So we are looking at this combination of using the TWAP, which is the one below. Let's just pop that up full size. Let's go to the three minute. Let's just pop that up full size. And of course, the one thing you'll notice instantly is we have no volume on here, which is absolutely fine. Because as I explained in the introductory video, what we're looking at is we are looking at price, purely price, which is weighted over time. That's all we're interested in on this chart is just price, nothing else. And if you like, you can think of it as, as I think I explained in that video, a layering. So on the VWAP chart, we have all the layers. But on the TWAP chart, we've, re we've removed one of those layers and isolated it, if you like, into this price-based component chart only. And as you'll see, it works in exactly the same way. The, uh, we have our uh, center line, which is our WAP line. And then we have our two outer envelopes, which are on one standard deviation. And again, you can see how they act as support. You can see how closely they hug them. And you can also see how they bounce off them as well all the time. And the reason for that is very simple to understand in that what the institutional buyers and sellers are most interested in is the price. Am I buying at a good price? Am I selling at a good price? And in addition to that, I don't want to be selling in so much volume that I'm putting the price up against myself, which is the other component, which is why we look at the VWAP as well, because on the VWAP, what we're looking at, obviously, we're looking at the volume price methodology. And in addition, the volume profiles uh, will give the institutions a sense of how much volume they can push through at any particular point in the trading session. Because if the trading session, the first five minutes only accounts for 4% of the daily volume, then they will be crazy to put through more than 4%. If they put through 20%, then clearly it's going to cause a huge move in price, put the price up against themselves, be ridiculous. So these institutional orders are spread out significantly across the day. They are broken up into parent child orders. The child orders are much, much smaller and pushed out into the market, aligned with the volume profile for that particular instrument throughout the trading session. But the key component of all that, of course, is price. And what they don't want to do is they don't want to put the price up against themselves. They want to buy at the best price and they want to sell at the best price without being at a price disadvantage. And that is why the TWAP is such a key component. It is an element of the VWAP. And why we've shown it in this, uh, why we've broken it out in this way to give you that information, because it's another component of how the stock is moving in terms of price. Is the price 
overpriced or is the stock overpriced? Is it underpriced? If it's underpriced, it's a buying opportunity. If it's overpriced, then clearly it's not a price you would want to buy at. Uh, you would certainly want to be selling there and selling in size because it, the market is overpriced. It's all to do with that and the price component. So that is why we focused on the TWAP and included it as a separate component with the VWAP. But the way to use it is in combination with the VWAP as we are here. And what you're looking at is exactly the same sort of principles. We've got the VWAP here on the top line. It's flattening off. We've had a nice rally in Meta throughout the early part of the session, but it's now starting to, to top out a little bit. It'll look a bit toppy, particularly when you look over, you see volume spiked like this. Huge amount of volume driven into that second candle up there. That's certainly not uh, a sign of strength. That's a sign of weakness. That is stock being distributed throughout that candle, dumping of stock at a high price, and the price is therefore highly likely to congest or may even reverse in due course, depending on what's going on. You can see uh, a, a further reinforcement of that over here. Look at that hammock, uh, beg your pardon, look at that shooting star candle up there. Lots of volume going in there, clearly an anomaly. 101 VPA, if you like. It's clearly anonymous because if that were genuine buying, the, the price of Meta would have been up here somewhere to reflect the fact that it's going further north and it's not, it's stalled. So there's lots of selling in there as the stock starts to weaken and come back down to the VWAP. And you've got another example of it over here, an injection of, of volume weakness with that uh, wick to the upper body. And also, as, you, as I mentioned, the VWAP itself, the center line is starting to flatten. We always look at the configuration of our VWAP across the time horizons that we're considering. Are we moving strongly higher? Are we moving strongly lower? Are we flattening? And indeed, in this case, we're obviously flattening but with a potential to move into a full-blown reversal. And obviously, part of that also, we'd be looking at the futures. We'd be looking at what's going on in the indices. We'd be looking at the key components, the, the five or six stocks which drive those indices. If you've, if you've read and studied the PDFs, uh, you'll know all about that in the program. So here we are, we're rolling over. You can see the price here. We're now starting to decline on one minute. And again, this is very typical of how we use multiple timeframes. What we're looking at is how a trend is likely to change across the timeframes. We're starting to flatten out here. We haven't quite flattened that here, but we've certainly got a two bar reversal. We're coming off here. But look at the volume here. We get to the outer edges of the, uh, the price band, the price outer envelope, and immediately it becomes a buying opportunity because the stock is underpriced here. And this is the whole business of price, which is why it's so important to look at it in this concept, to divorce it from the VWAP, to use the two in combination in this way. These are complementary indicators. They are the TWAP is a layer of the VWAP, but a key layer of the VWAP. And that's why we isolated it out. So you've got both elements to study and help you in your decision making. But as I stressed in the first video, this is an intraday trading tool. It is an out and out scalping tool, which is why I'm on the one, three and five minute. That's what it's designed for in very much the same way as the VWAP as well is designed. It's very much a day trading tool, intraday trading, day trading tool. And the TWAP should be used in precisely the same way. But the analysis of the TWAP in terms of the outer, the outer envelopes, the upper envelope, the lower envelope and the WAP, the WAP itself, used in exactly the same way. And you will find many of the same um, aspects of it. The DNA will be very similar. You'll find the price getting up to the outer envelope and then coming back down to the lower envelope and oscillating around the center a great deal because it's all to do with price. Uh, is this stock overpriced, underpriced, or is it at fair market value? Those are the terms that I think probably describe it most clearly for you, at least I hope so. Um, in that way. So I hope you've enjoyed this particular video. Lots more to come. So thanks for watching. See you soon and bye for now.